you know, <laughs> through the same square every time. All right, here we go. All right, this is uh, Drew Mumford going to demonstrate the Zero Bridge Blake's Hitch Rope Walker. He has a saddle that has the CT rolling lock for the adjustable bridge. He can adjust the length to his bridge when he gets up in the tree. And uh, the, uh, the Blake's Hitch is tied with a, a clove hitch. It's a midline clove hitch. We'll show how to tie all these and set it up and everything. And then the rope walking will be done with a Sokka and a CT uh, foot. Our midline clove hitch is a left overhand loop, another left overhand loop. You put the one on the top behind it, and now put your carabiner through here. And then it's going to be a matter of tying, dressing, and setting that so that this bridge length ends up being as close to the Blake's hitch as possible, and that's what makes it self tending. So there's Drew has his clove hitch and then the Blake's hitch and it all stays together and self tends. Um, now as far as adjusting the bridge when he gets up there because this part of the real estate is important to be able to put your hands on here when you're climbing but once you get up in the tree you want to be able to lengthen the bridge and that repositions go ahead and lengthen your bridge Drew when the bridge gets lengthened that now repositions the Blake's hitch so that it's in front of his chest and he can use his arms and hands on his Blake's hitch. Another way to do that if you don't have the adjustable bridge is to, once you get to a branch that you can sit on, is to then open up the uh, clove hitch and adjust the length in the clove hitch. So I'll have Drew go ahead and show us how you do that. With Go ahead um, just from on the ground you got to do it like you're sitting on the ground if you didn't have an adjustable bridge then the way to get the bridge length is to get up on a branch you take the weight off your climbing system you don't have to take the carabiner out but you break open the clove hitch and sometimes if you've been sitting on it for a while it'll be a little bit of work to break it open but this is so that you don't have to take the carabiner out of it but you take that break the clove hitch open and then you can lengthen the bridge so that now once again go ahead and tighten that system up now once again the Blake's hitch is in front of your chest where you can actually work with it without it being uh, lower in the way so uh, one one comment I'll make about this too some people have had fears about having your line your hands above your Blake's hitch for obvious reasons if you panic but with both a foot ascender attached to the climbing line and also the Sokka with its uh, captured um, ascending ascender Now, with both of these on the climbing line, even if you panicked, you would slide down and that's what you would end up with. Go ahead and recover from that. And back to, back to rope walking. So 
that's the that's the worst case scenario right there so all right thank you drew plenty of lights on up there <laughs> looks like a christmas tree <laughs> All right, so here he goes. He's got the zero bridge rope walker. Notice that his hands aren't even moving. It's all in his legs. And let me get around this side. 